This is bush passion fruit. It stinks, but it's delicious. It's nutritious, but it's dangerous. Some call this Maria Maria, others Santo Papa, because it has a cape that the Pope wears. We call this in a different name, and here's why. Here are eight things you don't know about this fruit. Number one, smelly fart. We call this fart or otot otot in our local dialect. Its leaves and green fruit contains a cyanogenetic substance. That's why it smells bad. Although this gripping vine is wild and is scattered by the birds, this is not native to the Philippines. Because number two, this plant comes from America and the Caribbean. Number three, this wild fruit is proto carnivorous. It traps insects into its bracts and it emits a stinking substance that contains digestive enzymes. But it cannot digest insects like real carnivorous can. Number four, it is delicious. Its fruit turns from green to yellow to orange. And once ripe, it has a sweet and sour taste which makes for a delicious fruit juice. Its pulp is bluish in color and is edible, and its seeds are black and edible as well. In some Asian countries, they eat the young leaves, and they also dry the leaves and drink it as tea to relieve insomnia, itching, as well as cough. Number 5, it contains cyanide and is toxic to animals. Its leaves and green fruits is toxic to animals especially if ingested in large quantities because it contains cyanide. Number 6, its flowers are toxic. Its flowers are so attractive that it is host to several species of butterflies as well as bees because of its nectar but its flowers if ingested can cause confusion dizziness nausea and toxicity number seven it is a shelter for snakes snakes are attracted to the passion fruit vine because the leaves tend to be moist and cool and they eat ripe passion fruit Number 8. It is nutritious. Eating the ripe fruit has health benefits. It is rich in calcium, iron, vitamin C, and minerals. It's good for maintaining healthy bones, prevent anemia, prevent cancer, control blood pressure, maintain healthy gums and teeth, and overcome kidney disorder. This wild fruit is has a happy place in our childhood memories because we pick and eat this in the wild while we are playing. We rarely see this anymore, so it's a surprise when I saw this growing in our fence. I will share this to the neighborhood kids soon so that they will also have something to look back to when they are adults. Thank you for watching and happy gardening!